Welcome back to the channel, everyone. If you're new here, my name is Brad and where have you been? I'm just kidding. I've been reselling on eBay since 2001 and I've been reselling clothing on eBay exclusively since 2016. I was a teacher for 13 years. It was my side hustle. And about a year and a half ago, I turned it into my full-time job. Today, we're gonna go over a thrift haul, the things I found at thrift stores and garage sales over the past week. These are the items I pick up. I'm gonna tell you how much I pay and about how much I think I will get out of each item. So grab a snack and hang out. So a lot of you know, I have a history of reselling antiques, collectibles, mostly hard goods. I had to switch over to clothing. I do still sell hard goods. So I'm gonna tell you right now, these are things I can't show you, but in the past few days, since this past weekend, I resold an Osprey backpack for like uh, hiking. I sold that for 120, I bought it for 80. I know that's a high price, but I knew I could sell it super quick. So $40 just in a couple days. I bought a Strider bike for 10, flipped it to 40. I bought a golf bag, a Titleist golf bag for five, flipped it for 50, that sold within a couple hours. And then another golf bag that was beat up for a dollar and I sold it for 25. So I sell stuff on Facebook Marketplace locally and with those types of buys, I just like to turn them and burn them. Get them and sell them super quick, get that cash back so I can buy more stuff at garage sales. Let's go over the clothing. First of all, here's a backpack. I actually used it as a bag when I left the store, but it's a North Face backpack, unused condition. If I find a really nice North Face for a good price, this was $9.99, which is kind of actually high for where I live, $9.99. But this type of embroidery doesn't bother me a bit. People get these. Most of the people that are buying hiking backpacks, they could care less. As long as it's in good condition, I sell these. You can even take the embroidery out if you want to spend the time. But I'm all about profits and not projects, so I don't take the embroidery out. This will sell for around $35, $40 on eBay. Super easy ship. A lot of this stuff I haven't looked at for a week, so we're just going to go through it together. This is an L.L. Bean full zip 100% wool sweater. I don't pick up all L.L. Bean, but 100% wool stuff sells really well for me. These are $5.99, the full zips. I sell these in the winter, and I'm a seasonal seller. Again, if you're new here, I go live about every day, by the way, so hit the follow, hit that subscribe, and join me live. I show you exactly what I sell every single day, and I pack it live in front of you and answer your questions. But... This will sell in the fall or winter, so I'll hoard this until the fall or winter. Probably sell around $35. Same thing here, I bought a couple Orvis Signature shirts. Now, I don't buy many Orvis shirts at all, especially um, ones that are flannels like this, but this is a silk wool blend. And these Orvis Signature, let me give you a better look at it. Orvis Signature does better. It's like they're higher lined. These aren't big money. They're $5 a piece. I'll probably flip them for about $25 to $27 plus shipping, plus shipping for everything. Also, by the way, now that I have auto posture, I list on Poshmark, Ricari, and Depop. So my sales have gone up by about 33% since I started cross-listing using the automation tool. If you're interested, I do have a link on surfsupfinds.com for $5 off. Back to the haul. Polo Ralph Lauren button-up shirt. You know these are my bread and butter. I love them. Most people know me by Polo Ralph Lauren. My favorite, especially if they're in white. White will bring a little bit more money, $5 into probably $23. But Brooks Brothers white shirts sell really well. And Polo Ralph Lauren white shirts sell better than just normal colored shirts. Peter Millar has really fallen off for me. In 2016, 17, 18, it was like, Garen, it's like finding a Roebuck today in 2024. Like you found it, you know it's gonna sell overnight for a lot of money. It's definitely come off. This is a Peter Millar. This is a better one because it has a really good pattern. It does have a little embroidery on the sleeve, but that's okay. It being a 2XL, $5. I'll be able to sell this for probably $30. If it wasn't really cool print, probably like 21, 22. That's where it's at. I can't help it. I got these at a garage sale this weekend. These were a buck at that same place where I got that uh, golf bag. Everything was a dollar at the sale. It was really fun. The lady was so cool. But these are embroidered all over Polo Ralph Lauren pony shorts. The button is there. But for a dollar, I can't lose. I just sold a pair that were um, white and blue striped with embroidery all over them for 25 bucks. I love finding Masters Performance. Usually Masters Performance is a polyester nylon spandex blend. You'll see Masters Tech as well. $6 for this jacket. This will probably flip into around 40. I don't buy all Nike polo shirts, but I do buy blade collar and some like this with that camo or jacquard print on them. These are just a bread and butter, $5 into about 18 to 20 bucks. I'm not gonna go into all the Polo Ralph Lauren. So anytime I see Polo Ralph Lauren from now on, I'm just gonna throw it to a side. A lot of my followers say, I can't sell Polo Ralph Lauren. I see you selling it all the time when they watch me. 
the picture is very important. So your thumbnail picture is really, really important. I have also on surfsupfind.com my eBay store that you can go and look at and feel free to look at all my sold listings and all my pictures and see how they look. That's why I sell these so well. Something I do not like selling is women's clothing. A lot of you know also that I did whatnot for a bit with women's clothing. It went great. I had a good time, but I also can't pass up. So like Eileen Fisher, Lennon, Cardigan, I just can't pass it up, especially for $5. So I don't know if I'm going to do whatnot anymore or what I'm going to do with this women's clothing, but I can't pass it up for $5. Am I a hoarder or what am I? These were pretty cool. These are definitely going to be cross-listed over to Depop because they're Gerbo. Anytime you find this Gerbo denim, they usually do really, really well. Definitely on trend right now. Really wide leg skater type of hip hop Y2K jeans. These were jean shorts, $4. I have no idea what those will flip into. My guess is around $25. Sims, one of my favorite fishing brand shirts. This is just a simple button up shirt with fish on it. Uh, it is $5 and this will probably flip into about $22, $23. All right, pay attention. This is a sleeper brand. You're going to see I have a few of these. It's like when it rains, it pours. And this was a good rain. This brand right here, and I'll let you pronounce it right there. That is a great brand to be on the lookout for. You're going to look out for the little coral. I think there's a coral somewhere on here. If not, the shirt underneath it might have it because I found two of them. There it is. So you're going to look for that little coral. These shirts right here, these button-up shirts, will probably sell for around $50 each. I know you're going to be like, no. I'm telling you, this is a really, really high-end brand. Just under Brioni, I'd say. J. Crew corduroy pants do well, especially when they're new. Now, this is new without tags is how I'm going to list this. But again, $5, really good fall color with this green. Of course, I'm going to save this to list this in the fall. So those of you who are wondering, why don't you list everything now? It's because I have a lot of inventory. So right now, I have totes and totes full of spring and summer items that I hoarded throughout the winter that I'm listing now. So those are priority first. If I get through all those, then I will start listing some of this fall and winter stuff. But this stuff is not priority right now. I do seasonal priority items. That's how I do my business. Here's a brand of jeans. I've never heard of them. I feel like I've heard of the brand before or I've seen the brand. I say I've never heard of them. I feel like I've heard of them. Driftwood is the brand. Again, women's. They had this really cool like embroidered Aztec type of print on the bottom um, or knit or whatever it is. Again, it's women's. I don't know. But for $8, I looked up the comps and they were really good. Again, what am I gonna do with this women's stuff? I love finding really good basketball school shorts, especially if they're the brand that sponsors the school. For example, IU. These are Adidas basketball shorts with the embroidered IU symbol and the stars in the back. That's how many championships they won. Uh, these were $9.99, so I did pay up for these, but a lot of times, I haven't looked at the exact comp of this pair, but I can sell these for upwards to like $40 or $50. Again, something else I paid up for $20, and this is very unusual for me to pay up like that around here at a thrift store, but this is a North Face women's down jacket, and the good thing about this jacket is it's one of the longer ones. I call them the recess jacket from being a teacher. A lot of the teachers would wear these really long jackets when it's cold out here in Indiana for recess because it'd just cover their entire body. Here is a Patagonia that's had some nice wear to it, but it is vintage. It's made in the USA. Really cool Patagonia. It was only $5.99. Even has a little Patagonia hit there. Again, Patagonia for $6 made in the USA. You can't lose. I don't know exactly how much this goes for. I'm going to have to comp it out, but my guess is probably around 30 or 40. Sometimes you could be surprised with that made in the USA stuff. I just packed one of these live this morning, Polo Ralph Lauren corduroy pants. These were $4. It's spring and I sold a pair. So this stuff, of course, sells year round. I just prioritize it towards the fall and the winter, but these are great. $5. I think I sold the last, the pair this morning for 32 something. It was an auto posture sale. They got an offer for 5%. We're going to do this together. I went to this thrift store um, last week and I found two of these blazers with this. It was a different store than those shirts. Uh, this brand right here, really, really good. I went back to the same thrift store a couple days later and I found pants. They're somewhere in here and I feel like they might match this. So we could go from a blazer to a suit, which is going to up the value. Here's the other blazer right here. Paid $7.99 a piece for these blazers. 
and I'm almost sure the pants match because that's like a bird's eye. You call that a bird's eye style. Anyways, we're gonna keep those right here. There's two of them. We have the gray and the blue. $7.99 a piece. If they don't have the pants, if the pants don't match, they're probably like an $80 blazer each. If the are full suit, probably like a $200 suit. Here is another women's brand, Eileen Fisher. I just can't pass it up. $7.99 for this like long dress, moo moo. I don't know. I don't know what you call it, but it was 100% linen. Here is a denim and supply men's polo ref worn denim and supply. Definitely a bolo, $5 Hawaiian. You would think these bring really good money because you don't see a lot of denim and supply, but I'm only expecting around $22 for this shirt. Garage sale find, and I had my kid. If you guys didn't watch some of my shorts, I'm starting to take my eight-year-old around garage selling with me, and I'm showing him the way of hustling. So I make him go and buy or go and offer people uh, prices, and he went up and said, how much are these? And they said, five bucks. Brand new, cool pants. <laughs> I mean, these will sell for around 50, but it was cool. I was in the background, I actually recorded it, him asking, and when they said $5, my heart even stopped for a minute. Um, but it was really cute, but yeah. These were a garage sale find, brand new, $5 for those cool pants. I will pick these up year round, but I will sell them and list them in the fall and winter, $8.99 for L.L. Bean flannel line jeans. These guys sell like hotcakes, come fall, come winter, 42 by 32, really good size. Those are no brainers, pick them up for the right price. More women's clothing, Athleta. The reason I got these, they were a good size and I will pick up Athleta now if it has the name on them because it's super easy for me to look up a comp and sell similar on eBay. So I list my stuff on eBay, I transfer it over to Auto Posture and then I cross list from there. So it's super easy. Um, these are size 16, really good size, black, joggers, $5, no brainer. Grayson, $5, Grayson's a really good brand, although I'm gonna tell you right now, they're popping up at a lot of the TJ Maxx, Marshall type of stores, um, even Sierra. So just be careful, you might not get as much as you did about two years ago for these, but they still command good money, especially for $5, it's a no brainer. And I don't know, this looks like an English crest of some sort, it's, I'm sure it's some golf course. I could Google lens this, I might, we'll see. Also a good brand is Cricket. Cricket. I know how to spell it, at least. Cricket, right there. Good brand. This is a long sleeve with a zip. And sweater, this will be listed in the fall. Bought it for $5.99. My guess, I've never actually found one of these jackets. My guess, it will sell for around $35, $40. Usually the best sellers for me on those are the long sleeve polos. Not even the short sleeve polos, the long sleeve polos. So I'm gonna show you it again. Look out for that little symbol right there. That's a good brand to be on the lookout for. Same place as that other North Face. I paid $20 for this one. I was fine with it. It's black, it's a medium. But the reason I really was interested in it because it was an 800 fill. So with down jackets, the larger the number, usually you'll see a 550, a 600, an 800. The more expensive it was from the get-go, which means it usually brings more money on the second-hand market. Check out this retail. I'm gonna bring in garage sale stuff, retail arbitrage. I'm bringing everything to you because that's where I, I, anywhere I can make money, I bring it. So this was a retail arbitrage polo Ralph Lauren, really cool work shirt with these with these pockets right here. This is called a work shirt. MSRP was $168 on it. I bought it for $14 on clearance, brand new with tags. This was, they only had one of them at Ross. So I do like to jump in Ross here and there on my thrifting days uh, and see if I can find anything good. These were a little expensive too. I paid up for these. $20, gosh, what am I doing paying up for some of this stuff? It's worth it, um, but $20 for these. It's not like me, uh, but these are Rock Revival. Rock Revival jeans always sell for over 50 for me, so $20 into 50, come on. Another TJ Maxx find, I actually have sold a jacket, a long sleeve shirt, and I just found this one recently. Brand new with tags, Harley Davidson at Ross for $10, not even on clearance, 10 bucks. I already sold the jacket and the shirt. I'm guessing this thing will probably go for like $30, $35. It's really, definitely the cutoffs are really popular for bikers. Pair of Patagonia shorts. Now, let me tell you about these. These are called baggies. Whenever they have the little pocket here, snap pocket in the back, they're called baggies. So when you look them up online, 
Uh, if you ever find these and you want to look them up, sold similar, type in baggies. These will pop up. Patagonia, men size small, still a good pickup for four dollars. Probably sell those for in the mid twenties. Pair of Lily Pulitzer shorts <laughs> or skirt? Uh, no, they're shorts um, for five dollars. I just can't pass on good women's clothing and a North Face for women's. I remember getting this one too. This is lined women's small, but has a really strong durable shell. So really good winter jacket. Again, I'll list this in the winter time. Those I like listing. Women's winter stuff I like listing, like all these jackets. That will probably sell for like 40, 50 bucks. This brand has actually fallen off a little bit for their golf line. RLX Polo has fallen off. These look like they've never been worn. Super white. But RLX golf pants, anytime you find RLX in like hot pink or blue like this, a really popping color, they usually sell better than khaki or black. This was $5. My guess this will sell for probably a little over 30. This is a bread and butter vineyard vines. I don't pick up all vineyard vines, but when I find a good condition sweater like this, quarter zip for $5 with a little hit on the front, this is an easy $25 plus ship come fall and winter. These are a pair of Bonobos. I do not buy Bonobos jeans at the thrift store for $8. That's how much they cost me. They have sold for me. They just take forever to sell. I have to get $22 or more to meet like my profit margins. But these were at that dollar garage sale. So Bonobos jeans, 34 by 32. Um, definitely pick them up for a dollar. That way I can resell them for 18 and probably undercut the whole market and sell them super quickly. Here's a men's North Face. Not much to talk about here. You guys know the brand North Face is good. This is one of those Apex jackets. Actually, it's got the wind wall. If you find wind wall, that definitely ups the price, especially if you find Gore-Tex. This was $9.99. That will probably sell for around 40 or 50 in the winter. Any Levi's I find, New with tags for $7.95. As long as it's a Levi's with a $5.50, not Levi's signature, it has to have a five in it. So these are actually 560s, which are more popular. Uh, but 560s, 550s, 505, 511s, 502s, any of those 501s, if they're new with the tag and they're $7.99, I pick them up and I sell them for usually around $30 or more. Johnny O, new with tags. Johnny O has come off a little bit. You just don't get what you used to, but I still pick them up. New with tags. I would have picked these up even if they were not new with tags. They actually have an Arizona State logo right there. And don't be scared when you find big college logos like that. Uh, they still sell really well for me. I find IU and Purdue, because I live in Indiana, often on Peter Millar and other brands, and they sell really quick. So don't be scared about that. These are $4. I think that scared people off because they were new with tags and they were on the rack. Here we go. I do buy shoes. I sell shoes. These are Tory Burch for $7. I really, for, I really didn't care about the authenticity because I found this little size. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little dot right there that says size on them. And it looks just like the ones they put on the Nordstrom. So I think these are for Nordstrom. I don't know how these will do, but they're in really good condition. Tory Burch. For $7, I'm not going to let that sit behind. Also, these were with them. They're women's uh, little dunks. Um, so some Nike dunks. And I looked up the comps on these. Super easy to look up Nike. Like one of the easiest brands to look up. And the comps on these were around like $60. And they were 12 bucks. So I picked these up. Um, they are like an off-white bone color. So that is the color. I'm not going to have to do any cleaning to these. And I'll just list them as is. More women's, what is wrong with me? But I can't leave Johnny Was. I cannot leave Johnny Was behind for $7.99. I don't even know what this is. A dress? I don't know. Untuck It. I know Untuck It. This is linen. Untuck It linen sells well. Untuck It has also come off. It's become a bread and butter for me now. $17.99 to some of them sell for $23.99 if you find like the spandex or a linen blend one. This is an extra large slim fit. Again, Five bucks. This one will probably bring like 23, 22 bucks. Got lucky. They just rolled out a cart with a couple men's Patagonia. Six dollars for this Patagonia right here. Has a little hit at the bottom. Um, love buying Patagonia. It just always sells great for me. And then I got this other one just like this. It's a quarter zip. Oh, I'm just noticing it's missing some of the Patagonia. It just says Patagonia, not Patagonia. But it's going to still sell fine. 
That brings up a good point. Actually, uh, it's one of those, I forget what you call it, but it has that R on it. I'll look it up when I resell it. But um, Patagonia, any hiking brand, cool Patagonia, Arteryx, Marma, any brand that's a hiking brand will still sell really well, even if it has a flaw or two. Most of the time, people hiking don't care about that stuff. As long as it's in overall good condition, they don't care. It will still sell. Let's see if you guys know what this brand is. Tell me in the comments below. I'm not even going to tell you what that brand right there is, but I know what it was. Um, it was on the racks, and that's a brand you shouldn't leave behind. It was $6. This will probably sell for around $60. So I'll show you one more time. See if you know the brand, and if you don't, look in the comments below. Brand I don't pick up that often anymore, but when they are $5, and this is a 3XL with a little hood, it's called Affliction. As we all know, Affliction was really popular probably like in the, I don't know, 2010 era, and people still wear it. Um, but a 3XL, these still sell for me $5, probably into like $22, $23. Great find right here, Masters Tech, new with tags, for $5, check out the price. What? Um, Masters Tech, new with tags, nothing really to talk about here, other than you really wanna find the ones that are polyester like this, Master Tech. Uh, they sell for better than the cotton. Not that the cotton don't sell, those just sell better. This is an L.L. Bean, uh, one of the thick L.L. Bean flannels. This is just an XL, these are bread and butter. Also, throughout the fall, these will sell for like $23, $24 plus buyer pay ship. Garage sale find for a dollar. How about that? I love garage sales. I mean, for a dollar, a Johnny O with this really cool print on it, you just cannot beat garage sales. If you can find good ones, a dollar for Johnny O polo, that's going to be like a $20 bill. Lululemon has come off. I talk about it often in my life. I still pick it up, especially men's. This is just a polo shirt. Years ago, this would have brought close to $40. I sell these in like the mid to high 20s now, just so I can move them. They still take a little bit of time to sell, $5 into 27. Easy pickup here, Crocs that are in great like new condition. They might even be new, eight bucks, like nowhere on the bottom. They're like, the I don't, they could be leather, but really good condition, eight bucks, super lightweight, super easy to ship. I don't know how much they'll sell for, I'm guessing like 25 or 30. I've never found these before, mostly because I don't look through a lot of women's stuff, but Eileen Fisher jeans. Eileen Fisher jeans, really good size, stretchy. They actually remind me of Judy Blue jeans. Um, they have this like natural cut that they came out of the factory like that, but Eileen Fisher jeans, whatever. Can't leave them behind. Another garage sale find, really good condition Ugg boots, the leather with the straps right here. They only charged me $5 for these, or only were asking $5 for these. Of course, I picked them up, made my son buy them. But yeah, $5 for these. I forget how much these go for, but I'm guessing around like 40 bucks. Hugo Boss shirt. Now, I don't pick up all Hugo Boss, but if they have the Hugo Boss right here, and they're in really good condition, so Hugo Boss on the chest, I sell them. I've sold a couple this spring, so I can just sell similar. So take pictures, sell similar, replace the pictures, replace the size, replace the color will sell super quick. Good news, those pants do match the suit. So there we go, $4.99 for the pants, $7.99 for the jacket. It's gonna be a full suit now. So that's gonna be about $200, which I'm super excited about. And then also the same with the pants. So that worked out. They rolled these out one day, and then the next or a couple days later, I found these in the pants section. People probably didn't want them. They don't know what that is. A lot of people don't know what it is. It doesn't say what they are on the inside of the pants. You just need to know that logo. That's what I'm here for. At the same spot, a pair of Peter Millar corduroy pants. These are good, not great. $5 into probably 25 or 30. And we also have a couple of other things that are fun, like toys. I don't normally buy toys, but I comp these things out and they comped out pretty well. For like 30 bucks a piece, I think. Uh, they are $3 a piece. We got this guy, Fat Daddy. We got this little hamster fat daddy. The thing that caught my eye is they were made by Jimmy. So G-E-M-M-Y. Jimmy is probably the largest manufacturer of the little electronic, animatronic animal stuff. So pick those up and one more is a little chicken dude. Got him. Again, $3 into like 20, 25. I might just lot them up, put them all in the same box. Also, I got a whole bunch of ink. How much for these again? I think they were like $2.99 a piece. Yeah, $2.99 a piece. And I got boxes of ink. So ink 
is such a great seller, whether it's expired or not, ink and toner are great sellers. I comp this one out, $50 all day long, and also ink sells almost overnight if you price it right. Okay, now this was the big haul. I don't know if you saw my son and I short, but it was fun, or like clip, reel, short, whatever you call them on YouTube. But um, this whole bag right here is full, 25 pieces at a garage sale. The guy was asking $4 a piece. There were racks and racks and racks. He said it was all his wife's. And it was a lot of Eileen Fisher's Chico's. And then I started finding more. So here, I'm just gonna pull out a few of these pieces. Again, this is turning into a women's haul, but whatever. Look at this, Misook. No, this is Ming Wang. Ming Wang, I looked up the comp. They were decent, um, but I picked this jacket up, $4. Uh, this is a, what is this? This is a Misook. So this bag is mostly full of that Misook line. Again, it's like a St. John as far as a little older style, um, but it still sells really well. What is this one? This is another Misook. There's actually quite a few in here that are new with tags. Um, this one might be one of them. Yeah, this is one of them. Again, don't be confused with Miss Hook with an H. This is Miss Hook. Um, big difference, like $418 worth of a difference for this jacket. A lot of these are new with tag. Eileen Fisher, St. John. This whole bag cost me $100 and there's 25 pieces in it. Most of them are new with tags. So that was probably my best pickup of the whole week. Being a former teacher, I hope I taught you something new in this video. Maybe it's a brand, maybe it's something to look out for, maybe it's something to price, whatever it may be. I appreciate you guys coming in. Hit that subscribe, hit that like. I'll see you in the next one.